to see if you've correctly installed MacJab 2.0.8 go to control and you should find the AR202 in this list select that place it on your craft and the MacJab tab appears here vessel info that's quite useful while you're still in the VAB surface to weight ratio of 2 my aircraft has a very good chance of taking off ready to launch let's select ascent guidance this tool will basically take your craft from the surface of Kerbal into an established orbit some settings here you can play with I'm going to engage the autopilot I've seen the throttle go up I know all is ready and uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, T minus 1 <laughs> craft has uh, reached the target Apiosis. It's just um, coasting up the orbital, uh, the gravitational incline, and as soon as it reaches 100 it will automatically adjust the periapsis. I can put the uh, RCS on or while the autopilot's still running. That just speeds up uh, this part of the maneuver and we'll probably go into auto warp except that's not turned on there we go and there we are automatically going into time warp and now firing off There we go. The uh, Mac Jab 2.0.8 has successfully launched us into space and established us in an orbit. In the map view, here's uh, the target and uh, this is the ship we're currently flying. First we uh, set a target. Once we've uh, set a target the rendezvous autopilot knows about it and at this point we can simply engage the autopilot however there can be a couple of issues with the rendezvous it's best to bring up the planner now we have a list of commands here and basically when we click on the engage autopilot button it automatically follows each of these steps now it can take a, a computational error at um, well any of these points but most commonly at these two and it's easy enough to resolve in the case of the intercept with Hoffman transfer disengage the autopilot, whack this button a few times, re-engage the autopilot. In the case of it at the match velocities, then simply whack the button a couple of times and if that doesn't work, disengage, clear it again, re-engage. You'll know if you've hit an issue 
because uh, down here the T minus will be something in the region of 68 days. Anyway, so far no problems. Um, I'm just going to adjust my final distance to only 20 meters and engage. The orange line shows the intended behavior of the autopilot at the next node. And indeed, there we are. It's made its first maneuver. Uh, notice here we have a readout, increasing phasing rate, new phasing orbit. <coughs> so when we, if we do have uh, the pesky error, it will tell us up here whether it's the Hoffman transfer or the matching velocity stage. And again, the status has changed. We are now on an intercept course, planning to match velocities. Uh, and down here, we do have indeed have the famous error, and everything slows down very slightly. So we will now try uh, the user behavioral fix. And there we go. It's now snapped straight to a much more reasonable 18 minutes. All that's happening there is a null buffer is cleared and proper data is shoved in it. There he is. Okay, so that's taken a couple of minutes and we're now to the braking maneuver. disengaged uh, the rendezvous autopilot so we're ready to go with our docking maneuver bring up the docking autopilot now I have to select some ports to control from there we go click on the autopilot and uh, hopefully before a crash we have a maneuver. Good effort. And that's it. A successful docking. I have no target and in my main map I have just one craft. We're done with the docking autopilot. I'm just going to uh, transfer fuel by uh, right clicking on uh, one tank and alt uh, clicking on the other. And now I can uh, transfer uh, fuel. And there we have an in flight refueling. I've separated my craft. I'm going to need my uh, new maneuver planner and to get to the moon we're going to need a Hoffman transfer to target. In the map view I can find the moon. There it is. Set that as the target. Create and execute the node and we immediately begin our manoeuvre. Final approach to the node. Figures down here are looking good.
this. I'm not sure exactly what that means. What I do know is at this point we um, don't get auto warp, uh, I don't think. Um, so we can safely anyway manually warp to just before this point here at the end of the blue line. And uh, in a moment we're going to hit this point and when we do our flight path is going to change. Uh, the graphic will change. Um, I'm not sure if it's because we've come within the gravitational pull of the MUN or if it's a momentum related thing. And there we have it. That's changed. If we come into this view, we have this um, 2000K reading. Anyway, at this point, it's a good idea to um, remove all nodes. I believe we've finished executing it, and we can check that with the maneuver editor. There aren't any uh, nodes to remove. And again, we use the maneuver planner to circularize. There's the maneuver node editor telling us stuff about our circularization. I've no idea what all these numbers mean. I guess I don't have to make gems doing the job for me. The onboard computer is computing. See this graphic change. We've successfully arrived at the MUN. We'll take a look at our final MechJeb tool, the landing guidance. Um, now there's a little lack of consistency as you can see on the ascent guidance we have autopilot, the same on maneuver node and so on. Here uh, it's slightly different but anyway. Um, basically I'm just going to land somewhere. The autopilot's already taken over. Ninety four thousand meters above the surface of the Mun, there it is. Okay, last um, 20,000 meters. I'm hoping the um, landing guidance autopilot is going to kick in and slow my descent. There it goes. It's 2,000 feet. I do have a parachute. I'll try and fire that off. That's not happening now. It's probably a staging issue. a beautiful touchdown. If only I thought to put legs on the thing. Anyway, thank you Landing Guidance and Mech Jab 2.0.8.